one day you think you're fine and the next day you have a chronic disease that you'll live with for the rest of your life. My name is Katherine Smith. I am System Director for Cardiovascular Services at Edward Elmhurst Health, and I had no idea that this could happen to me. I met Kathy almost 40 years or so ago. We met in high school. Been married for 35 years, happily ever since. How would I sum up Kathy is that she's tolerant, she's forgiving, she's understanding, and she's a very loving person. My name is Mary Lou Haberl. I met Kathy about 10 years ago when I first started my job in the cardiology department. So I had walked in her office, just happy and silly as I was in my 20s, and said, if I'm going for a heart scan, you're coming with me. <laughs> and I'm like, you think so? You know, I didn't have what I thought wasn't any pain. My cholesterol was relatively normal. I wasn't on any medication. I was exercising. I was watching my weight. I mean, I've always eaten well, and I was probably one of those people who really did not have significant signs and symptoms. She goes, well, didn't your mom die of heart disease? And I said, yeah, she did. And I said, and my grandma died of heart disease also. And when I thought back on it, I'm like, gosh, my mom didn't have any symptoms either. I'm like, you know, you're probably right. I should go. Kathy went for her scan, and I found her in her office the next day, and she told me her score. I flunked it. I thought to myself, gosh, you know, could it be true? So I called one of my cardiologists. He says, you know what, you're coming in for an angiogram. The angiogram was a lot longer than it should have been. When they took the first picture, everybody just stopped. They're like, oh my God. There was a moment of silence, and we all looked at each other in disbelief. It's that feeling of, how can this be? I looked at my husband, I said to him, we're waiting for the cardiovascular surgeon, aren't we? He's like, yeah, we are. I had an 80% and a 90% lesion in my left anterior descending. It's what they call atherosclerosis, which is like a buildup of fat. Initially, when I first found out about Kathy's diagnosis, of course, it was a little bit of shock and disbelief, and it can't be Kathy, are you sure? Dr. Goodwin came into the, uh, the room. He said, this is something that we're going to have to correct through a procedure. You just assume that you don't have heart disease until possibly it's too late. I remember laying in that hospital room and all by myself, and it was late at night, and just crying. It was a life-changing moment for me. they decided to go the route of the coronary stents. I always have felt that my mom and my grandma have been those angels looking over me. And um, the uh, procedure went off beautifully. After that, obviously I was discharged and I had to start cardiac rehabilitation. So again, another one of the departments that I oversee, I actually kind of embraced being a patient, not from, you know, the director of cardiovascular services, but from a patient perspective. What's unique about Kathy, I think, is her inner strength. She didn't take care of herself as much as she took care of everybody else. Her grandmother and mother were the same way. They were so uh, caring and understanding and really worried more about other people's happiness and, uh, and health. I think that uh, her focus became more of, you know, I, I do everything I can for everybody, but I think with this sobering, eye-opening experience, I need to start taking care of myself a little bit better. The changes that I've made in my lifestyle, I got hooked on hot yoga. Yoga is all about, obviously, breathing, and it's all about relaxation. Making a lifestyle change, I think, has been one of the key components. We've made it a journey together. 
We cook together. We have fun together. Sweetheart. You're welcome. Enjoy. I've never felt that I was alone. I've had tremendous support from my husband, tremendous support from my son, tremendous support from my friends and family. If Kathy wasn't in my life, I wouldn't be where I am today. She is vibrant. She always smiles. She's happy. She's energetic. It wouldn't be the same at our hospital or within our department without Kathy. If this could happen to Kathy, who is the director of cardiology, this could happen to anyone. You know, if I would have had an ultra fat CT at the age of 40, would I have done things differently? Heck yeah, sure would have. I'm extremely passionate about heart disease, and obviously the American Heart Association, it plays a big part of that. You know, the research that they do, the amount of information and education that they give is outstanding. I actually feel there's a lot of people who are hesitant to get pre-screening for heart disease or to get a test, but knowing is everything. Medicine now has things out there that can extend or even save your life. I love that I have an opportunity, even at this level in my career, to give back and to give back to the patient and to give back to the families and to see what a tremendous impact you can make in their lives. Kathy's changed me to help embrace what we have in life, friends, family. There you go. <laughs> hey, sweetheart. Hi, guys. Hi. Oh, look at hey, She nugget. knows my voice. Hey, Nugget. My family means the world to me. They are my life. I do. I am who I am because of them. <laughs> my grandmother was an inspiration to me growing up. And I think that now having a granddaughter myself, you know, I can't even tell you how much it has changed my life. She is truly my little star. She's my inspiration to live until I'm 90. I hope to be there for her for a very, very long time.